Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. When they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Khabib. Even our teammates say, it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with bears? <laughs> he is so strong, he's so physical in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me right. down, but it's Just okay. Sure. It's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. The veteran voice of the Ladies Octagon first book. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Shavkat Nomad Rothmanov! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a grappler, only professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Effective strike there by Nurmagomedov. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Come on, man. I need more more. Liver kick. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nermago Meta. Punch is blocked. Wow. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, so I just put a smile on my face. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nemango Meadow. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Trying to establish that jab once again. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh man, head kick lands. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Do it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Good, solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nermago Meta. 90 seconds now to go in this one. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh! Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Leg kick. He's got the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 20 seconds to go in round one. Lands the right hand. Well, missed on that one. 10 seconds now in round one. Beautiful straight right hand. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round.
All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Ooh, blocks the shot. Watch knees to the body. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And there's a nice elbow from the clinch. Back and forth we go! It's such a fast leg kick. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Oh, big head kick land. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Throws the right hand there. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Nurmagomedov's back in full mount. Both fighters get up now. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Man, look at him load up on that right. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, big punch land. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. He's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively this time. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well Drops a big right hand after it. He may be able to finish the fight. Great punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes DC can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, 
he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out. Oh! Oh, big left hook there! So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs. And in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not bad. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get if you have fighters that are so in the match. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Nice strike. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nermago Meta. Just misses with the left hook. Nice punch, man. Both fighters exchanging the pocket here. Swing and a miss on the counter. Blocks the shot. And they separate. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. And he's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Whiffs on the right hand. And to the body there. Oh, that right hand is on point. It looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Right hook to the head block. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. One takedown is easy to defend. When you start together, is when guys start. Lands flush with that right hand. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity passion. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. And they both stand up. Single collar tie now. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, wow, oh! The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. He blocks the punch. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. He lands early and he lands off. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness 
that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think the hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strike, oh! he's, he's got him right here. He's getting lit up right now, John. An uppercut in. Trying to stay in this fight. His misses are. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, nice strike landed there by Nomago Metal. Oh, oh, collar tie. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. I mean, he's cutting down the side with this beautiful leg kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh! He was hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Knee the body, very nice. He understands that doing the body work will oh. be what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. <laughs> Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near you, back. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. He got it done with his striking He fought well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judge's mind. Back and forth we go here! 
nice loop and punch. Try to establish that jab. He wiped him out. one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 31 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Habib the Eagle, So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.